Hi, I'm Mike Wood. Today I would like to introduce you to the Mobile Site Safety Tool and website. Mobile Site Safety has been specifically designed for smartphones and tablets to locate mobile base stations and site information, including base station location details, EME safe work procedures, carrier contact details and reports, including the compliance certificates and environmental EME reports. Accessing mobile site safety is really easy. Here are the key steps. Number one, make sure you have the GPS active. Number two, enable location-based services. And number three, go to mobilesitesafety.com.au on your browser. The mobile site safety interface will open and display your location on the map and the base stations closest to you. If you need a larger area or no base stations appear, you may need to zoom out on the map. A maximum of 20 base stations will be displayed initially, but you can display more using the plus sites button. This is very useful in CBD areas where there are many base stations. To ensure maximum location accuracy, turn on the phone or the tablet's Wi-Fi. You don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi source, but the device is typically designed to use a combination of the GPS and Wi-Fi signals to determine your location, especially indoors. So let's have a look at some examples where mobile site safety can help you. Example 1. If you're a construction worker or tradesman working on a building rooftop near a base station antenna, you must familiarise yourself with the safety procedures for that rooftop, including the safe working distance to the antennas. Importantly, you may need to arrange to have the antennas deactivated prior to accessing the rooftop. As a mandatory occupational health and safety requirement, a safety briefing must be conducted prior to accessing the site. This safety briefing will include information about accessing areas where there are mobile base station antennas. Once you have completed the safety briefing, you'll be able to access the safe working procedures for each site, which are listed under the EME Safe Work Procedures tab. There is a login button to access the specific safety documentation for each site. You can obtain the login details from the relevant facility or building manager or the carriers present at the site. In this example, the site safety book shows the detailed drawings of the site and the EME exclusion zones in red and yellow. If you need to work in any of the red or yellow shaded areas, you will need to arrange for the relevant antennas to be deactivated. So if you're working on a building or a site with antennas, make sure you check mobile site safety for the EME safety procedures. Example number two. Another use for mobile site safety is for the public, community and local councils to be able to locate base stations in their neighbourhood and the associated environmental EME reports. So that's a quick overview of the mobile site safety tool. Make sure you check the website for updates, information and the user guides. Thank you for watching.